He goes in motion. Pressure on Fields. Now maybe looking to run. Tucks it away. Fields. And gets hit questionably late. Let's see. No flag. Tempers flaring. Yeah, I don't think it was late, KB. They're, they're mad that he got hit. But he was clearly on the green when he got hit. But I love that. Watch your offensive linemen protect their quarterback. DJ Moore just shoved Jair Alexander in the back as they exited that little scrum on the Bears' sideline. So this, this series is going to continue to go backwards with the third penalty in a row for Chicago. So here, you can take a look. Jair Alexander is coming all the way across. I mean, he clearly hits him in the green. There's nothing wrong with that play. And then take a look here. Mm. DJ Moore responding to something that Jair Alexander said. But Personal foul defense, number 93. Personal foul offense, number 10. Those penalties offset. The down counts. Second down. They've had some success. From the nine, Howell. Couldn't get it to Thomas in space, and Cameron Thomas chases him, and Kaiser White bangs into the quarterback, Howe, and the line judge from his backside throws a flag, and both teams throw in a fit. Three flags on the field after all of that, and we're only halfway through the first quarter. Quarterback Sam Howell took a shot. He's a big man, but that might have been a late hit from White. Well, not might have been. That is a late hit. He's out of bounds oh, yeah. right here. Easy. Up high to the head. And that's one. I mean, that's just a flag. I don't care what league you're playing. You can be playing Pop Warner. That's a flag. Personal foul. The use of the helmet. Number seven in the defense. As you said, with Dwayne Brown at left tackle, he had to move to the right side. Here's one picked. Over the middle and intercepted. That's Milano. And Matt Milano is going to draw a flag as he got in the face of Zach Wilson, but he gets the interception the ninth of his career. Unsportsmanlike conduct taunting. Number 58 of the intercepting team. Allen lost the snap. Ball comes out. And it's recovered by the Jets. The call is fumble. Jets ball with a replay to follow and now a fight. Michael Clemens knocked it out. And these guys are still going at it. John Franklin Myers. Oh, oh, DK checked him up on the back side of the play. Dang. Oh, you see, you see, uh, Sean McVay, McVay saw McVay it. said that's so bad. A Kella Taking Withers lunch money out there. Dang. Kella Witherspoon is down after this play. Oh, yeah. That's not cool. Timeout in Seattle. Now, during the timeout, DK Metcalf, who is still steamed up, and there's a flag oh, coming in. Too he hot, kept talking. Coach. It's unsportsmanlike conduct. Too hot. You see the Rams excited. They were, they were egging him on the whole time. Yep. After that play, he kept going. He kept going. He kept jawing. He got talked to by the officials during the timeout, almost like you see an umpire give yeah. each dugout yeah. a warning exactly. after a close brushback. Offense back. number 14. 15-yard penalty. Dang. We made second down. That's a backbreaker. This is first towards disqualification. Play clock is plenty of time left. He'll take the snap. Looking left. Throwing left. Pass is complete left. Jacoby Myers in his first year with the Raiders. And he's taunting after the play is over. You've got to have a calm head when you make a big play. You saw the single coverage, man coverage, just Jim James going outside. Oh, good yeah. ball. Allow your receiver to just make the play back shoulder fake. Well, a great job installing at the line of scrimmage, being patient, did everything the right way, except for how he reacted after the score. Mm. Go celebrate Honda. with your teammates. Offense from the 16. 
under a minute to play. Coming up, bonus coverage. The Dolphins and the Chargers. Some pushing going on. Chargers lead it by four with 3.53 to play in the fourth quarter. Second and one. Cousins over the middle. Osborne. And it's picked off. Intercepted by Tampa Bay. Christian Isian, the undrafted rookie from Rutgers, with his first pick in the NFL. That was an angry blindside by Justin Jefferson on Isian. But you know, look at the reaction from Cousins after that interception. There's a little frustration, and rightfully so, but you want to get it out, get your mind right. It's 10 10 at half. Come out, play a clean second half. If they take care of the ball, third and nine from the Superdome. Tannehill gets a four man rush. Escape valve near his side, but nowhere to go. Chased to the sidelines by Demario Davis. Fourth down coming up. Watch Andre Dillard, left tackle again. This was his problem in Philadelphia. He is susceptible to power. Carl Granderson just went right through his grill there and got in the backfield. That is not going to see to the end. Little pleasantries. There, that, that wasn't Curtis McCordy on the sideline there. That was Malcolm Roach giving Ryan Tannehill a piece of his mind. We're coming after you all day today. Tannehill to the near sidelines. That's Pitts. Third Tannehill interception. A good job by Adebo staying in that hip pocket, turning and finding the ball. We just saw Tannehill clearly frustrated on the sideline. Pass interference. Defense, number 33. Off place at the spot of the foul. Automatic. First down. Does Arthur Smith have a legitimate beef here? He looks upset. Oh, it looks like Marshall just kind of goes down like their feet get a little bit tangled up I really didn't see anything from flowers on that one. Yeah, that ball was deflected. He's still upset Jeff Okuda inactive today And so that's why Trey flowers got the start but Number two for Fox. Oh, they fake it in the wind side. They fake from their own 17 yard line and pick up the first down Jalen Reeves maybe <laughs> is back on the Lions special teams captain was with Houston last year Dan Campbell dice rolling from inside the 20 on drive two of the season. Whoa. He does it all the time, right? I mean, we should come to expect it. A lot of times they'll throw the pass. You just don't expect it from inside the 20 yard line. And here the big guys just keep pushing and get it done. I mean, Dan Campbell setting the tone already for this season. Anything goes. I told everybody, Reeves Maven's going to have the first first down for the Lions for the year. Personal foul, offense number 58. Personal foul, defense number 32. Those fouls will offset. Right here, Sewell. These are the two guys going at it right there. Down, get in your face. John Hussey is the one who came in there to try to stop it. Is the win. Bears going quicker here. They give it to Johnson again. He got a little spark. Oh, what a shoulder and a first down. Roshan Johnson bringing the wood. So let's see what the penalty After is. After the play, personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number 20. You see him here on the bottom. He's grabbing his leg. He's not letting him up and that's just frustration. He's just mad. He got run over. And the approach sure. and is uh, maybe I, I, it felt a little bit overblown. And when you talk to some of the players about it, you see some of the chippiness here. This is what happened to Kayvon Wallace. Mm. That's why there was a little bit of chippiness because Nick Gates came out of nowhere and gave Wallace a little bit of a late shot. I think they can get it. On the toss, Jackson. Jackson Bumble. stopped, lost the football. And same result, fourth down, stop short. He's visibly upset. I do not know why. Look in that direction. Instead, it's DJ Dallas with the catch, and Dallas powering through to the 25. And once again, they're working on Hoyt. I know that was his zone. Oh, we got a little extracurricular here. Guys working on their jabs and hooks and crosses. And this is what drew it. Tied up with Jennings. I mean. 
Frustration. That's all it is. Just it's frustration. This is an emotional game, but you've got to be able to manage your emotions during the course of the game. And Levi Wallace lost his cool right there. Cost his team.